Our little planet has many mysteries. These mysteries boggle our minds and make us question how much we really know about the world we live in. But here are five mysteries that have been around for years that are now considered to be debunked. The Bermuda Triangle is held responsible for the disappearance of countless aeroplanes and boats in the ocean between Florida, San Juan and Bermuda. This area is one of the most heavily sailed shipping lanes in the world, with vessels crossing through daily for ports in the Americas, Europe and the Caribbean islands. Over the years there have been a number of disappearances that have happened in mysterious circumstances, which some people claim fall beyond the possibilities of human error, equipment failure or natural disasters. Paranormal fans talk of a suspension of the laws of physics. The first unexplained event occurred in the 1950s, when the story of Flight 19 came to light, detailing five US Navy bombers on a training mission. The flight leader was reported to have said, We are entering white water. Nothing seems right. We don't know where we are. The water is going green, no white. It was also claimed that Navy officials said that the planes flew off to Mars. Is this a portal to another dimension? Should we be freaked out? Probably not. If you take any other patch of ocean with comparable sea and air traffic, the Bermuda Triangle is responsible for no more disappearances than any other. Bigfoot is famous for spooking the shit out of hikers and hunters in North America. Meanwhile, people living in the Himalayan region of Nepal and Tibet talk of a giant humanoid creature known as the Yeti. Bigfoot has been described as an intelligent ape-like creature living in the wild some 6 to 10 feet tall and weighing more than 500 pounds. Witnesses claim he has large eyes, a heavy brow ridge and a crested head like a male gorilla. His alleged footprints are 24 inches long. Bigfoot, also known as a Sasquatch, Yowie and many other names depending on your culture, is most likely to be the result of folklore, misidentification and a whole lot of hoaxes. The most famous footage of Bigfoot at Bluff Creek, California was revealed to be a hoax. Some 35 years after the footage was shot, Bob Hieronymus explained to the Washington Post how he wore an ape costume for the filming. There's also a lack of physical evidence to support the existence of a Bigfoot population. The breeding population of such an animal would be so large that we would be able to monitor and observe Bigfoot, or big feet in the wild. Not to mention all the faecal matter, hair, footprints, corpses and skeletons that are absent from any scientific record. The first reported sighting of a UFO came from Texas in 1878, when a local farmer reported seeing a large, dark, circular flying object flying at a wonderful speed. In the 1950s, the number of reported UFO sightings went through the roof. The most common kind were flying saucers, described to have awesome manoeuvring capabilities beyond any man-made aircraft. The acronym UFO stands for Unidentified Flying Object, so in the sense that these flying objects are unidentified by the viewer, UFOs are real. However, countless UFO sightings can be later identified as dust on camera lenses, aeroplanes, helicopters, weather balloons, comets, meteors, and even planets that can be seen with the naked eye. Today there appears to be some pretty outstanding video and photo evidence of alien spacecraft. Of course, there is also the movie Independence Day. Hoaxes are the best explanation for computer-generated images of UFOs. In 1971, in the small Spanish village of Belmez, Maria Pereira claimed a human face spontaneously appeared on her cement kitchen floor. It wasn't long before she destroyed the floor and replaced it, and a new face promptly appeared. More and more faces continued to appear on the floor of Pereira's kitchen, attracting thousands of visitors every day. Some faces were male, some female, some large and some small. In time, it was discovered that the house, built in 1830, apparently stood above a graveyard used by the Romans, Spanish Muslims, and then medieval Christians. Paranormal fans suggest that the faces were manifested on the floor by telekinesis. This notion was based on a claim that the expressions on their faces used to change with the mood of Maria Pereira. For a long time, skeptics suspected that Maria Pereira painted the faces herself. But this didn't really add up because she never benefited financially from all of the attention. She lived a simple life in the same house and eventually died in 2004. It wasn't until recently that technology could explain this mystery. Scientific analysis of the molecular changes in the whitewash proved that some fakery was involved. Many people now believe that the faces were actually paintings created by Maria's mischievous son, Diego Pereira, who dedicated years to spooking his long-suffering mother. 
Stonehenge is a legendary Leonithic monument made using stones transported to the Wiltshire countryside from Wales and built for some unknown purpose. However, excavations have revealed that Stonehenge was built in four stages. In 3100 BC, a series of holes were dug for a religious ceremony. Then more than 1000 years later, the dramatic stage of building took place. Huge bluestones from mountains in Wales were carried more than 240 miles to the Stonehenge site. Why would anyone do this in the age before the wheel, and how would they accomplish such a feat? These remain true unexplained mysteries, because it really wouldn't have been hard to find similar rocks closer to the site. The stones were then set up to form an incomplete double circle, aligned perfectly with a midsummer sunrise. The third stage, in 2000 BC, saw the arrival of more stones, transported by land from the Marlborough Downs more than 25 miles away. Finally, after 500 years and numerous generations had passed, someone felt the need to rearrange the massive Welsh bluestones into the familiar horseshoe and circle we see today. Although, one of the great unexplained mysteries of human history is the purpose of Stonehenge. Was it a temple, a burial ground, an observatory, or an ancient calendar? We may never know. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my weekly videos. Also, don't forget to keep in touch on all my social media sites, the links are down below. And also, it would be amazing if you could all go check out my new online store that I have recently opened, and perhaps share it with your friends, it would mean a lot. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.